extend this. We don't have to make this all the way to the next P and Z meeting at the end of January. If this information can come in to the town administrator early, um, well, that, we're all a, residents here. We can meet earlier. I mean, we normally meet you know on a Monday, but here we are a week before Christmas, you know, and everybody's here. Mm -hmm. So that, I think that shows a good faith that it does. Know, we're we're help working to help you. Uh, we just want, like like Jay said, we want to see. And everybody, you got to, like I said, right now with what's happened, everybody needs something a little more to make them feel a little more comfortable. That you're, you're coming in to sell, uh, you want to add firearms to if you put your cell there. You've already gotten a good response from customer base, but there's going to be a lot of negative response that may not be here tonight. And some response that we may get individually that didn't want to come. And we just, like you said, we want to be able to show the residents that we've um, we've asked you for the information, you've provided it, and if you go in there and do something that you said you weren't going to do, you know that customer base is going to go away, your reputation is going to go away, and then the reputation of this this board uh, is <coughs> means nothing. So, if you need those, like I said, in the form of a motion, uh, we can word that up tonight, and you can get that back to us uh, over the holiday. You know, the next week or so, I, I don't think anybody's really going to be doing much of anything. It gives you time for you, your manager, your attorney to, to detail that stuff out a little bit for us to go with the application. And within, and then, and, you know, what's what's the date you're looking to make these purchases in early January, as you call it? We'll, I'm sure we'll work as, as best we can to work with you to... To give to you a little background, up. Alan, that you may not know is... And we started this effort back in the end of September or so, and there, were, there wasn't a November meeting, and so we didn't. So, so we've kind of been uh, trying to work within the schedules without upsetting the right. apple cart. And that's well, how we we've we've known about this. this. Uh, this board has been together for quite some time. We've known that this process has been going on, and uh, like I said, we all we we changed our regular meeting to be here tonight. So we're not. We know that it's been going on. We've been aware of it, and uh, on top of many other things that our you know town administrator has on his plate already, but that doesn't make yours any less important. So, Mr. Chairman, yes, I I would like to clarify something. Um, you are correct. We've been having these discussions since September. I know we've met probably three or four times. Everything is being articulated tonight. I articulated it. Those. I've, I've sat down to help draw, add components to the drawing. It would answer the question. And I've always sort of looked at this as like, is it Andy Warhol that says you get 15 minutes of pain? I, I always tell applicants, it's really important that you get it right and that you anticipate the questions that are going to be asked. Uh, Michael's been really high on this. It's yeah. extremely helpful. No, I, and that's, that's what I want to, I guess, I guess what I'm saying is, as I, I did try to get you guys to put an application here. At a, well, we're not finding fault with you. Excuse me? No, no, we're not finding any fault with that. Right, okay. I just wanted to, and, and I'd be more than happy going forward to, again, work with you guys to get the drawings where they need to be. And, and those are the things I, I did talk about. You know, show back to the cabinets. Businesses are fluid. If today the best place for that is in the rear of the store where we feel most comfortable, doesn't mean that that's where it's going to be in a year from now. And I don't want to put something in paper and then have a problem in the future not being able to merchandise. Well, I'll give you a fine example. Years ago in hardware stores, paints were all the way in the back, back at the store. Make people walk through the store, buy something on the way through to get the, buy the paintbrush on the way to buy the gun. Now they're in a front of the store. Don't make people go out of their way to have to buy what they want. Th those things change. We're putting them in the back of the store for a number of reasons right now. And we also feel that's the safest reason, the safest place. But in cameras, as soon as you walk in this door, on the right-hand side, and their viewpoint is, we want to be right here and watch everybody walking in and out. And see, so maybe I'm wrong. Those put it in the back. Those are those are things that we want to we want to know. You know, that's yeah, that's I things that, that I can tell you all that. I mean, uh, well, I think you I think you have. And I think I think you have. And, uh, like I said, we're just asking for it in a different format at this time. Um, You've been more than helpful in it, and I agree. I understand that uh, we should. We don't dictate how you market 
your products, how you located your store. But we just want information to say, okay, this is the startup. This is where the road that Ace Hardware is going down at the beginning. And you may put this in place and find out it's just barely enough to, to maintain it. Uh, we, and we can't, that's not for us to say. Simply what we're uh, looking to do tonight is to get information for the condition, to understand the conditions that you have to meet going forward. Um, and I think that, you know, like the gentleman said, there's going to be so much oversight on this thing other than us you know, that you're going to have to jump through. So I don't think that we're asking for anything extraordinary or, or hardship-wise uh, in this process. So, will, will you be able to give me a detailed list of what you want so well, I think, that I make sure that you... I think we can. I think that okay. um, there's a possibility we can make a motion tonight uh, to uh, for the conditions we are looking for. And when I say conditions, uh, don't look at that as absolute reasons. It, we're looking for uh, some clarification, I would say, correct me if I'm wrong, as to um, what you're looking to do, how you're, you're going to do it, and the process uh, that you know your manager might, you know, I'm sure he's stressing over this already himself, that he's gonna have this and, and, and have one more very serious product in there that he's going to have to make sure he's got the proper employees that he's overseeing. There'd be so, someone separate overseeing that, by the yeah. way. So and we're, we're not going to put that total burden on any of the existing employees, and that's why I said we're bringing in some new, and, and we're also looking for some expertise, local expertise. I mean, it sounds like you, you know, from what we've talked about tonight, um, just like Commissioner Norton said, if we'd have had a lot of this stuff in the application, we wouldn't have had, you know, so many questions. We've all kind of you know, uh, we've known this is coming up and we've been preparing for it and the circumstances surrounding this past weekend, you know, emotionally affect it and there's just, that's the reality of it today. But we're trying to not make that a part of the hardship of what you're trying to do to do business. Uh, like I said, we, I love your business down there. I, I want you to get rid of that pallet and it's time to come there. Yeah, right. Um, because it, it takes away from the character yeah. of what you've got going on there. And, and I think we're all pretty much assured that the character going forward is going to get me re responsible and professional down there. I think in fairness to the applicant, can we come up with a precise list of the items that they're looking that we're looking for? Yeah. I, I mean, can we do that right this like, I, that's I, before yeah. we continue any further? Can we articulate that list? I'll record it. And um, okay. and then we'll take the next step. Mr. Chairman, may I have the excuse? I have to go to the drugstore to cover for sure. Yeah, yeah, sure. <laughs> Anybody in the public is welcome but, to uh, any point. They, like I said, if you, uh, you can you can get in touch with me. And get Merry Christmas, everybody. Uh, I'll be in touch with you. Have a good holiday. Everybody's leaving the room. Yeah. I'll see Mike. Okay. Now I'm forced to stay here. Hey. Merry Christmas. We got the ATF, the approval. Uh, if there's a letter, we should have it in the file. Um, so should, should I interrupt as we go along or should I keep quiet? I, I would like say. Let us, let us I would say let's get list the list. While we've got our yeah. faults. Good enough. Just when they ask how you prefer. Okay. And then we'll, we'll circle back around to you. Any comments you may have on any? Um, specifically to uh, the business plan, um, I think we need to be more specific on the types of guns that are going to be sold. That will go with the class that they're going to go with. So that we'll know from there. Um, training, how long? Who's going to do it? Are there additional classes that that person has to take throughout the year? Certifications, Certifications. or licenses right. that have to be and also education. Correct. And with that, I know that like at uh, your larger gun stores, that person also carries a concealed weapon. <coughs> that's something that's going to be in the store to protect. It's not just, it's not us up here. It's you and your employees, and it's the community as a whole that we want to make sure is you know, safe so we don't have the bad people you know, taking advantage of something good. 
Can't, so. You can't go in Johnston's when the owner's there and not notice that bar is <laughs> going on inside. Yes. It's, it's, quite a so it's quite a, a lot of your bunch it's quite the open carries in Johnston's. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, that's what I have on mine so far. I think we've talked about that. I, I agree with Rebecca. Um, I do think we should limit the type of class yes. within town. I definitely don't want any type 10 right, FFL yeah. holders in here. Uh, that's a manufacturer of firearms and disruptive devices. <coughs> I think that's way out of reach. So I think as this board looks forward, we should limit the type of class that it is allowed within the, the town limits. That's something we'd have to put into in, our in ordinance. In ordinance. Right. You know, again, we're right just speaking out loud. Yeah. Yeah. I think Rebecca's got it covered. Uh, again, I'm pretty detail oriented. I want to see, you know, if you had, could give us a. We just we'd like to know about security. Yeah, the we don't want to know display you have. Yeah, I, mean, I would say on security. I wouldn't ask for specifics. Exactly. I mean, just the, not, you yeah, know, not. I mean, just something to show that you've. Right. To to it, right. you, you have enough regulations between the state and the feds that burden you. Mm -hmm. I, I, yeah. I, I don't want you to publicly present your We don't security. want to know what kind it is. Yeah. I, I don't <laughs> want to know the manufacturer. I, just to, yeah. like, here's the display case. It's uh, bulletproof tamper glass, whatever, and it locks and whatever. That's all I need. Mm -hmm. do, they, I need. Do, they, do they require you to purchase a, a certain type? Yes, it has to be. can't be shattered. It's got to be <coughs> coated with plastic. Like your windshield in your car, you just can't smash it out. I would actually stop you. That's what the case is. So, we, we want to know that those are the type that your precautions that you're taking. Like. In addition, to, you, you said you earlier that you placed them in a bunker. That's great. If you had a safe, is it fire rated? Does it have one inch bolts? There's, I mean, I've done a ton of research on this, and security is a big issue as far as that. But again, you're required by the, the state and the right. federal for I, that. I would say on security, um, I mean, remember our records, like, I, I, are public. I mean, they somebody yeah, put I don't a Freedom of Information request to act in on the town of Rise and sign it where you're required. I don't want to be in a position to turn over their security plan. Uh, no, and, and, and I don't want, I, again, we, I mean, we're you know, very clear. I don't I, want to know the manufacturer. I don't want to know. Yeah. I don't even want to know. I don't want to know do you I have an alarm system? Sorry. Yes, I that's I all I need. It's not fair to them. And do you I, have a specific type of case? Yes, that's all I need. Um, and what type of firearm license? Yes, that's it. That's that. That's really it. I mean, I, I would it be fair to say you've probably presented a plan to ATF for Maryland State Police indicating, you know, the safety those security precautions you're going to take. No, because that's mandated by them. Right. Mandated. They'll dictate. So it's they come through doing inspection. Say, here's what I want here. Here's what I want there. And it's, like I said, we can't get to the state until so we get through the federal. Right. So yeah. the, the federal guys came through. In other words, I don't I know if that's well, reasonable to even They haven't given me a letter saying it's okay because it provides all part of the package. They're going to be forced to do it anyway. Uh, okay. Agreed, but I don't, all I got was a paper and, mm -hmm. and a drawing that was kind of inclusive. And, you but know, you from my perspective. A, you do have to have a fire rate of save at 1,400 degrees for an hour of burn time. Yeah, that's a standard. That, from that's what ATF. I would have loved to have seen that in the application. That would have saved a lot of. I mean, maybe what maybe what we're really looking for is more bullet points of what the ATF exactly. is going to require. And I not, think not necessarily the you know the equipment you're going to put, just some bullet points of this is what the ATF requires from a security standpoint. Okay. Yeah, if you can put that, that might be. So that, so yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm getting the better. So we don't have, I'm you, sitting there going. Yeah. We don't uh, want to know specifics about <laughs> yeah, what I, you're putting I, in your but You're, you're reading, you're like, you got to read the whole book. Yeah. If you can summarize the whole book, you know. Okay. Yeah, you can, put it on, I kept trying put it on <laughs> one sheet. I think it was the cliff notes. And, and I think that's really all this board is looking for is like, here it is, here's the bullet points. I've met this. We're going to operate between these mm -hmm. hours. You know, your business, whatever that is, but we're going to operate the gun shop between this time and this time, and that's it. We're closed on Saturday, Sunday, whatever. I mean, you, you give me some kind of timeline as to. You know, are you going to be there at 9.30 at night with the store open? I don't know that. I, it wasn't in the application. Can't do it. Big one? Can't do it. Do they have some? No, I, I, I don't know that. But I'm, I understand what you're saying. That you, these well, guys just went broad, general yeah. information. We, and, 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 and we want that not just for us, but for residents also. Right. Yeah. Because they have some I mean, concerns. Yeah, and so people are going to come to us sooner or later. Yeah, they ask details. That, that's really it. If we have, like, the Kodak moment of, Yes, they have this license. Yes, they've done this. Yes, they have security. Yes, they've done that. Uh, yes, 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 yes. It's covered by the state. It's covered by the federal. 
boom, done, we're out the door. Because if we've learned no nothing, we've learned that, uh, you know, residents ask us questions because they know we can deal with these kind of things. And we like to have some, at least, general answers we can give. <laughs> I, I understand much better now than, than I did prior to our meeting in Philadelphia. I had no idea. Is that the full list of things we're looking for? The we'll class back FFL, and we'll see if I, I have which class FFL approval, I mean, which class of FFL, ATF approvals, question mark, type of gun for, clar or for classifications, training and certifications or licenses, and highlighting federal security regulations. And I, I think from the, like, from the standpoint of types of guns for classifications, you're not necessarily looking for, you know, I'm going to buy a Winchester or a no, Remington. No, no. We want to I just understand that, hey, we're going to have, you know, Oh, actually, well, I was actually going to see, yeah, I mean, bolt action or, you know, or, or, or pump shot guns, it, it's you're going to have, you know, the, or we're planning to, you know, you do carry. Do you want to know whether we're having bolt or, or well, no, I, I no, know, well, actually, we know that you're going to carry those, so there's oh, yeah. no you've already said that, but, like, you know, do you think that there would be any, I think what you're really looking for is, do you think you're going to have plans for handguns? Yeah. Down the road. Okay. More just and I, from I think that the town sure people would probably want to know that, too, I mean, is. Again, is it something would this have this would have been something we would have asked before the events of you know Friday? Not necessarily once you're going to start carrying yeah. more models, right? But just is okay. that in your possible mm -hmm. plans? All right, good right? Well, you, you're getting to the range of questions that I think are very uh, understandably asked. Okay. And when you were saying about the bolts and the bolts, well, well, I was trying to you, you didn't specify what FFL <laughs> license you want, so I didn't know where where well, were you I'll, going. You know, what did you want to carry? And, 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 and then pump shotguns like basically that. I'm not worried about those. No, I am you're not worried about. They're not going to carry assault off. You know, it's not like you know what I don't want is a Type 11 dealer right there on the street. Now the pulling the FFL that you're speaking on all the classes. I mean, I'm going off mine. What I read in the books and the classes I've been to. Um, I believe that they are too close to school and too populated area to go above and beyond class of uh, three is the max they could get. Mm -hmm. And I yeah. think um, something's telling me with the semi-automatic and the automatic is too close to the school Correct. to actually be able to even carry those. Right, and that's all we're asking for because that, that's not here. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Would so you like me to see if the ATF guy would come talk to you? No, I think no, we, we want to hear from they, you they under they the guidelines. I mean, what they want. They, just, yeah. I, and we're not looking for your, I mean, I'm not looking for your business plan. Hey, if you, like you want to put together, I mean, we're not looking for like an economic plan. If you want to put the, if you want to, you know, do something in your store that's going to run you out of business, well, I would be saddened. I mean, that's really their prerogative okay, from an are, economic standpoint. Are we at a point now it's, where we're ready to um, have Can you a read them one last time? Well, we're, 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 ready to, uh, we're ready to make an official I mean, motion on this. With and I, the, the let me just here. one other point on the, which class of FFL we asked. Mm -hmm. I, if I guess at I'm a minimum, if you don't know that, like if it's not necessarily clear, at least the application showing. I mean, would that be? Well, I'll find no, I want to know what application he's filing. I'll call that. Okay. I'll call and say, hey, what okay, is this? Okay, confirm that. And, okay. And and, and uh, what we can talk about and get you the exact uh, thing. We believe it's a type one. Yes. Which is your right. basic hunting shotgun rifle? Which I, I think that doesn't Type One even cover handguns? Actually, I, I believe think, it does. I mm -hmm. think a Type Three is curios and relics. No, you can't. No, that's, type no. Three is that's cla There's classes and types. Okay, I'm sorry. Now, where you guys are speaking on handguns, they're going to have to go through a whole another ball game to even with get the in. state. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. state right. driven. Federal has nothing to do with that. Now, but you do have to have an FL, you know, license. And they're going to have to go through the state police, and that's a whole other. Yeah. I mean, that's a six and six months to a year ball game, guaranteed. Okay. And you're not planning on becoming a pawnbroker or anything. Let's all. That's okay. on the application. We said no. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> let's all. Uh, let's go ahead and wrap this uh, up so yeah, that I agree. Um, we can read this in. And, uh, so okay, I want to say uh, I motion that we. Um, we actually continue this meeting, and I, I guess first of all, when is a good date for everybody? Yeah. Well, I, I, that's hard to judge. Today. That's right. How long do you think it would take you to get in the, the five pieces? I think we're looking for is which class of FFL, ATF approval, um, the ATF approvals. Well, we have. don't have ATF approvals. They went through and had it stopped at that point. 
because the town didn't give approval for it. So they wouldn't get right. a partial approval. Okay, I guess, I guess more on, on the, the where you were, like any documentation showing where you were on the ATF approval, is that? You submitted, it, you submitted a form and you, your money to the ATF. Right? And, 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 it, and it got it back. And you got to withdraw it because there's two options. If you can't get the, if you don't have the proper journey, you either withdraw or just deny. So we got our application feedback. So, <laughs> well, the the here's, here's the, I think the real issue is they're, they're going to be like major regulated by not only the state, the I agree. Mm -hmm. All right, that, that really is not the issue here. The issue is I just want to know what they're selling. We want to know. I'm, we, I, want I, know. we want to know what type of firearm or classification that they are applying <clears> for. That, that's easy. Do they have the proper security protocols internally within the building? And the, as you talked about, the uh, uh, certification and training. And, and really, I believe that that's really all the criteria. What was the last thing you said, though? The, the, the security <coughs> and training oh. of the staff. Mm -hmm. You know, you had mentioned that they have to be fingerprinted and background checks. Background checks. And again, I'm not familiar with any of that, but. That's really, I think, all the residents of the town. And I don't think they'll be able to have that training before getting the approval, but I think at least a plan showing that, yeah. that and, you're going to, you and know. There's if, a plan in place. Yeah, there's I a mean, plan in place to get that right. training. Or, right. Certainly, once we get to that point, he can go and move forward, get his training, get the application, get the letter from us and everything that he needs to go ahead and do this. But it's just too vague. So, so yeah. do we want to work this that we'll continue the meeting or as we originally talked about the approval with the conditions that <coughs> as, I mean, are, are just to, to the town administrator? To talk out loud, kind of where I, I think we are is we can either motion to continue the meeting, right? We can motion to approve with conditions or whatever. We could motion to Decline. We could motion to, um, you know, ask the applicants. To, I mean, there's there's probably a number of ways we could motion, right? I'm just trying to figure out. I'm I'm trying to be as fair to the applicant as possible. I'm trying to provide the option. Okay, so how can we word this to be expedient without? I, I think continuance of the meeting is the most expedient because we could motion to continue, unless there's. Let me let me step back one step. Unless there's a interest in motioning to approve upon meeting conditions, although we've got kind of a jaded history with approvals with conditions. Um, unless they'd be willing to submit to just flat out conditions, like we're saying, you know, we're, we're looking for them to come back with what classification and such. We just tell them what classification we're okay with. I mean, we could, we could turn it around that way. I think they would probably be happier to come back and, and um, you know, Based tell us what the, they want to do rather than us impose it on them. Based on the gentleman in, in the back, he is saying the, the three is what he believes to be the uh, maximum condition where we are, I'd be happy to, to go along with that. But I don't <coughs> think that we can actually say that because there was some question, if, if I am correct, on with the three and what it, what it carries, Versus where it sits in town and the occupancy of the residents. And no, all there that. is there is very specific. Well, is it? Yeah, okay. and, it, and does, it, does the town fall into that? We, you could lump it in by saying first meeting the requirements <coughs> of the state of Maryland and the thing. If you don't meet that requirements, it's a requirement. If, we, if we're too close to the school, let's say, mm -hmm. and we don't qualify for that one. You might have said it was okay, but it's okay. you still got to get through this one first. And that would be very helpful for, for me if you could do that. That would really be I believe he does meet the, the requirements that set down by the ATF, and obviously he needs one in order to trigger the, the next state. So honestly, I'd like to hear what Jay and Calvin have to say before we really kind of hone this in. but. You know, based on us saying it's this classification only in town limits, boom, here it is, and none of the other, you know, type 10 or type 11 classifications, um, and meeting, you know, what type of hours or guidelines and safety protocols that are in place. Basically, I think it meets the guidelines for the, the exception. 
or, or, or permissible yeah. use. I, I tend to agree if, you know, I mean, personally, I'm, I'm okay with, you know, I'm generally okay with their plan. I mean, the, as long as it's, you know, the kind of weapons we're talking about, I, you know, and that they're following all the requirements of the ATF and the state police. And I know that the ATF and particularly the Maryland State Police don't fool around with this stuff. So, no. I mean, I, you know, I, I'm not, I mean, like, I understand you guys. Um, and, and I, I mean, I, I think it would be helpful for us to have that kind of bullet list of those federal safe, uh, security regulations because I'm, you know, it's going to come up and it would be good for us to have that available to us for when those questions do come before us. But um, the ATF, I was real clear that I'd go to jail if we broke Oh, they don't mess around. No, I, I, I know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm very no clear about right. that. <laughs> There's men and it's who federal, are jail. It's by. not jail. It's federal prison. <laughs> right. yeah. so. Calvin, do you or Jay have uh, any final comments on this before we try to wrap this up? I, I give you the procedural one. If you don't want to meet again and you want to make it automatic, then you want to approve it tonight, subject to some conditions being met. You need to nail those conditions down because when they submit it, they're not going to submit it to you. They're going to submit it to Calvin, and you don't have any discretion of you should have or whatever. Yeah. I mean, so if we good. give Calvin the conditions, he can ultimately very clear them up until they you provided meet those me with a copy of your FFL application. You did whatever it would be, so it's very objective. It's done. He gets it. You're approved. You get your letter. No more involvement. If you feel that there are some questions that you don't have the information, <coughs> hypothetical. A class one versus a class three. What guns do they sell? If you feel like you need that information and you need him to provide it for you instead of us or somebody providing it, then you need to set another meeting date. And I think in fairness to the applicant, if you could set it so that he knows he has until this day and set a short window, maybe two weeks or something. But it's going to require you meeting again. It's going to, the public will be here. I mean, it's more of a, a deal. Um, it seemed to me, based on the list that you have, other than the class of the license, because that relates directly to the products that are being sold, um, that the rest is pretty easy to produce because it doesn't matter. He's going to give you these are the things I'm going to have in there. But the other one may be discretionary in the fact that if you could have a class three and that has automatic <coughs> weapons, is that something that concerns you more than if it's a class one and it's only a rifle and a pistol? <coughs> That, that's that's the issue. Do you need to hear this again, or are you pretty satisfied with the theory that it's covered by the feds? And the <coughs> just get us that information so we have it. Full page, yes, website. Yeah, I was going to say, look it up. <laughs> <laughs> what does the what does class three sell? Uh, class three goes to automatic, which has to be regulated. You have to have it inspected. It, it's a very tough class. There's only there's only two gun shops that I know I have it, and I have it for my personal use, just I don't sell them type of weapons at all, mm -hmm. but for my personal use, because the permits are so high for, say, you you or anybody else to actually own an automatic weapon, has to go, you have to take it to Glen Burnie, have it inspected mm -hmm. by the state police, and you have to pay a hundred and seventy-five hour a year permit, and if your permit expires, they come take a gun from you, and you have to go to different places, you have to actually, uh, Mr. Duval spoke about the training that he does. You actually have to have a card like that, you know, that you're fully prepared to be able to handle an automatic weapon mentally and. <clears throat> and that's a, that's my concern. Yeah, it's is not. That's something that you want to handle and, and in your store. Concern, for me, I'm set a lot of I understand your <coughs> concern is totally. I mean, uh, I just went to a gun auction. Oh, you know, this isn't part of this deal. But I went to a gun auction Saturday. I was very disturbed at what I saw at that gun auction. And I made a call, you know, on my head after everything that's happened in the past about all these shootings and whatnot. I made a call to my ATF agent, at which he works right out of Wilmington, Delaware, and I said this was very disturbing that you could go to a gun auction and sell two FFL holders, which is myself, and if you're a Pennsylvania resident, you do not need a background check to take that gun out of that auction hall. Mm -hmm. I said that is disturbing <coughs> and he was he said no, he was going to get right on because that's you know that's totally against and for them to be able to sell any type of guns Mr. Duval you have to actually have your um, you know hunter safety course card mm -hmm. to be able to buy uh, 
uh, any type of pistol through Sabre. Okay. And, we, and we would hope that you know, you'd reach out to the gentleman. Uh, well, I already told him it was a little harder to <coughs> with him, but but maybe think, sponsor or participate in these classes. We see, we see him here each year, I think. I said we, I've seen him here just about every year. Well, he also works for uh, 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 the auction. Get Gal Gil Gibbies. 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 Yeah. Gibbies. And and I know uh, Gibby. Matter of fact, uh, he heard about this, called up, and offered any assistance that he would uh, give us on helping us. Uh, uh, I, I, right. I, I do have a question for the gentleman. Uh, so class three is, if I understand your terminology, class three is pistols, rifles. Handguns, long guns. Well, that, that's that, that's that, that one. That's right. That, correct. It so a, a title one <coughs> is that correct? Yeah. And then also on here is a a C and R, which is the uh, antique weapons. Correct. Right. That's prior like eighteen or uh, eighteen ninety nine. Right. So title one <coughs> and title three seem to be the mainstream yeah, of, of everything. Correct. In class three, though, is a fully automatic weapon. Correct. Yeah. Right? Now that covers additional regulation. Yeah, that's a whole different. Ball. Okay, now I, I got that because I'm like you said, I said, I just wanted your classification. All right. So I, I think for our benefit, we need to limit this to a Title One and a, 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 a Type One and a Type Three license. Yes, sir. Which two type and title is you're saying that there? Because I don't have that phone. Well, type and class. Type and class. Yes. Okay. The the, the class three is um, I don't I don't think there's need for that in this town. I think but, it but could actually you, hurt you. But I, I, I fully believe that the t the title one, which is long guns, handguns, mm -hmm. hunting, sporting, and the type three, which is uh, collectors of Relics. Right. It, the feds listed as curios and relics. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I have some um, on that. So I, I believe <coughs> that would be permissible and acceptable. Yeah. In curio business, we hope to do a online uh, uh, mail order that would be delivered to other ATF uh, locations. Um, okay. In the news today, and, and mark me if I'm wrong, but I know a lot of businesses are not doing online anymore. Well. It, you have to follow Come Because we didn't sense. hear about this all night. We didn't hear anything about doing an online yeah, issue. Yeah, why is this coming up now? I mean, we well, can... Hold on. Well, you, well, even before he gets into the internet or anything, if any gun now, if anybody, you go online, you can buy guns from gun broker, like gunbroker.com. Then it has to be transferred to it him. Has to and go then you have an to an go through a dealer. Which would be, say somebody from Rosie Sun buys one from Chicago. They actually have to, the dealer has to contact me, get a copy of my FFL license. I have to fax it to him, sign, and then with my stamp on it, I actually have an ID stamp that nobody knows what it is except for when you put it under a black light. So nobody can yeah. forge FFL license or nothing no more. It's actually, it's a, you can only see it under a black, uh, you know, light. It's a medallion. Yeah. I so, read that. so there's a lot of, you know, even if they're going to sell online, it isn't like, your kids can sit at home and buy guns and have them shipped out. That's not that's it's not gonna work like that. And I, I think that we probably are not in a position where we can limit the type of business that he can yeah, he could do like that yeah. in the future should this be another aspect. I was really talking more as like store to store transfer almost yeah. in that case. Because I think I, like you said, I've I've talked with individuals I work with that when you start doing it that way, uh, and I would think especially with what just happened. That's just going to be more closely monitored. Let's hope, but we can't. We're not in a position. I don't think here at this board to even no, uh, start dealer, telling dealer. them what he can yeah, do. Dealer, dealer, dealer. Gonna, yeah, dealer, dealer. Yeah. So okay. basically, we have to come back to what we're talking about here tonight. And that's a sensible is, thing to do in some way. I mean, like maybe he carries merchandise that another dealer doesn't. You know, if Cameron's needs a product he has, or he, you know, Cameron has a product that somebody wants to buy. So we need to. He could transfer it to, to you know come can, back to what we're actually here for tonight and, and wrap this thing up. But, uh, we're ready yeah. to word the motion so that. Uh, right. <clears throat> um, the. Uh, okay. So I guess, I, and look, I, I mean, I can just present a motion, or, you know, I, I think it's a lot of times better if we have some idea of the direction we're going. Do we want to, I mean, 
mean, what's the consensus? Do we want to continue or do we want to? I'm, I'm personally, I'm, I'm okay with approving. I, I think conditions. that we've all come to that point here tonight after all the information that we're probably because the at conditions a point we're ready to uh, approve with the conditions. Right. Yeah, I, I, I think we're. Do you want to, okay, Rebecca. Do we want to read the? the I mean, I, I mean, really. Do we want to hear what? Do we want to hear? Yeah. Right. <laughs> do we want to? Do we want to read that first uh, and see if we need to uh, tweak it. tweak it a little bit? Because sometimes that's what we found we need to do. But once again, uh, Jim, yeah, how do you feel about moving forward with what we have just talked about as far as um, approving with conditions? So I'm fine with approving conditions. Approve with conditions. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm considering the idea of motioning with you uh, for approval with of the application with following three conditions, and this is just something I'm considering. Um, that they provide uh, to us the classification of FFL. Um, and that, uh, I mean, we, and so we're talking type one and type, I mean, we're, there's class one and type one, and type one and type three and class one and class three. And I just want to make sure that we, we're using the right terminology here. Um, it sounds like we're, we're looking for them to go in the direction of class one. Well, no, class which uh, we, which title, we, which title one, type one or type three. three. Well, see, and type three, I can't imagine, because type three is less restrictive than type one. Curios and relics, you don't even need to be a, um, you don't, I mean, you don't really need to prove anything. To buy a gun that's older than 1890s, it's and it's very unrestricted. Is, can, is that a different arena? You're, you're getting into collectors' items. Yeah. And well, you're things, there's almost no, no that's, that's, that's <laughs> not that's not what right. the applicant is looking to to do tonight. He's looking to start up his business, um, and that's that's what our motion is looking to do tonight. I understand. To allow them. And that's what I just want to just make sure we're using the right terminology. Back and forth is what you're looking to uh, put into sales as a product. <clears throat> I, so I'd like to be able to compete with Rick's right down the road, and have that business come well, to one, one shot. Is that he can't get an F, uh, even a class three until after he has his class one for the first three years? So you're on probationary period for three years before you can even apply <coughs> for your stage three automatic weapon. So See, these are things first. that we really, really needed to know. Well, that would have been extremely helpful to us. We would have made the meeting 15 minutes. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. Well, yeah, but, and these, right. these are things that I needed to know. In other words, I probably would have, you know, been asking so many very specific questions about it if you, if you had come to us and said that. But With that. That's the first that, time I've been thrown so. Yeah. You know, I, I agree I could have done a better well, job, but that's I didn't realize. why I came tonight because, I, you know, I go into ACE and, you know, I, I know that they carry every day they're falling back in. And when I first, nine years ago, went to get my FF, you know, class one. I said, you guys got to be kidding me. I mean, it was just like, I mean, it was overwhelming, you know, with all the, the background checks and everything else. And I said, this is, this is crazy. And then once, but it, a lot of people, you, you know, because I talk to people out on <coughs> the street, I deal with the public every day. And it's just, people really don't know what the gun, what gun control is in effect because you hear them on the news, they want to ban this and ban that. You just can't walk in a store and buy that stuff. I mean, these people that do these crimes are in, it's a long thought out process to be able to even get that product and to move forward or they got to get it from somebody that already had it. So it didn't like it even just walk into Ace and say, oh, I'm thinking I'm going to go shoot something up. Let me go get me an AK and, you know, uh, right. 5,000 <coughs> rounds of ammunition. You're not going to be able to do it. Right. And I understand where you guys are coming. There's a lot of unanswered questions until you've actually and they don't even probably know the, and I, I the answers don't to the questions because they've never been involved with it. I don't think any mass shooting has ever, you know, like, I don't think anybody's ever left, and not to say it, but any part, any gun store, yeah. like, you know, threw the gun in the trunk and then, like, straight to where they were going. I really don't believe that, I mean, that's really an issue. It's all in it. Yeah, it's, it's a, it is. It is a long thought process. And we're just looking for fair footing with Cameron's yeah. and the other competition areas yeah. so we can meet that here. And the customer comes in and says, "Why well, can you do it for cameras? And why, why can't I buy it from you?" It makes mm -hmm. you feel like you're. What do you got on the job? I'm looking at basically that they provide the classification of FFL, the which sounds like it's gonna be class one. They provide a plan for training, certification, and licensing of I guess of their other employees. 
um, and that uh, they give us a kind of a bullet list of the federal security regulations that they have to comply with, like the highlights. Now back to the training, you actually need to be able to be in the gun area, which is considered locked. You know, if one person has keys, they actually have to be on the FFL license as a, you know, approved seller. So they can't even, nobody can do the paperwork unless they're approved by the ATF prior to sale of the weapons. Uh, Maryland State Police, if they get that far and able to do handguns, you actually have to go and take a 10 hour class on how to do the paperwork because it's about this thick. <laughs> <laughs> they were asking them to highlight the security regulations they just comply with. The, the first one, can you read it again? The first they, one. They provide the class of FFL. Okay. I guess that they apply for. Right. Now, is there going to be a condition along with that, like, that we're looking years. for that they're going to come back and say, well, they, they give us that and there's something in there that we don't like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. In other words, we don't, we like, really like don't like want them to We don't want them to yeah. Yeah. Well, What trigger is going to say well, that, well, no, that we, we don't want that? Honestly, so, like, it's going to be the we're responsibility talking. of ordinances in the yeah, future. I was actually going to say. Part of the reason we're here at this point now is the lack of, a, lack of a, a clarity in an ordinance uh, which is one so of the things we found out Jeremy, several times. A question. Three years from now, they decide that they want to move forward in that direction. And in the meantime, we've passed an ordinance saying that we don't think that's an appropriate fit for the town. They're not going to be able to move that way anyway within town limits, correct? If you can regulate that, it would be a question no matter what, if right. you can regulate that type of thing. I would imagine that part of the process to get that is going to be a discussion with the local zoning body again. I'll be right here again. Right. Mm -hmm. I mean, okay. so so I would imagine so, there'll be a trigger at that point in time. So I think there's so an onus to one also yeah. planning and zoning and then the town commissioners to ensure that you know we make the recommendations to the town commissioners to you know Limit. update chapter 12 to yeah. make sure that we're including something more specific in the way of guidelines and such around this. Okay. Okay. There, okay. there needs to be some verbiage in this <clears throat> proposal tonight pertaining to that, I believe. Don't you, or am I just off base? To well, it's, it's not on. It's not on them to, to yeah, change right. the ordinance. That's, 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 <laughs> that's on us. It's on us. That's oh, us. okay. I don't want to put it as part of the condition of their approval. No, no, no. That we, okay. That okay. We do our no, no, no. Yeah. All right, Dave. Let's let's go ahead. Right. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna actually motion that we approve the application with the following three conditions. They provide the class of FFL that they applied for. That the um, that they provide a plan for training, certification, and licensing of their employees, and that they highlight the federal security regulations they must comply with. Just so motion. Sorry, do I have a second? Do we have a motion? Do we have a second? Do we, do we, uh, was, there, was there was also talk about the security protocols? That well, we need to we, we need a we, second, we need before, a second before we can discuss. Okay. So, do we have a second so we can open discussion? Yeah, sure. Yes, for sure. Oh, then I'll second. Okay. We now. have a motion. We have a second. All right, so we can open this up for some discussion. So, Dave, you want to read those three bullet points again just to make sure we're all. Clear? That they provide the class of FFL that they applied for, that they provide a plan for training, certification, and licensing of their employees, and that they highlight federal security regulations that they must comply with. Which, which covers, in which in covers security. Right. In addition to that, though, I would like to just generally speaking, security within the store. Bullet points. Uh, we have are you, that's, that's kind of what I was getting at too. Are, actually. They have then, the federal then, guidelines. Are you sorry. motioning to amend? Yeah, to, to amend that just to include, oh, the, uh, <coughs> I've got a burn safe with 1500 yeah. degrees for two hours. We have a secure lock case that's not brand specific, but just we have it. Yeah, we, we, it meets, we, it we meets the guidelines. Meets the guidelines. I'm gonna do that stuff can you, so I'm happy to. Can you provide me the precise motion that you amend? So, that the, to amend. That the applicant also provides us the additional security measures within the structure in relating to uh, the building has an alarm, that he meets the federal uh, law pertaining to the type of uh, security device, storage device, safe. Um, you, you, uh, 
mention something about a, a safe with a burn limit or something like that? Yeah, for that's right. part of the okay. 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 I just want to make sure that. And you know what? I'd invite everyone to come on down. I'll be happy to show you where. I, I, just want I don't to want to know where you put everything. <laughs> <laughs> so that's not, that's, and that's not my business. Well, and I'll show you the so Can you put it into the form of a motion? I, I motion that we amend the uh, original. original to include the additional security protocols on the premises. There you go. That covers it. Great. With, without being specific. Okay, do we need a second? I second the amendment. We have to vote on the amendment first. We have to action it first open discussion. That's it. Well, do we have any more discussion on, on the amendment? Okay. On the amendment. Mm -hmm. so, so we have it. We have uh, the original motion. We have an amendment motion in second. Uh, we finished with discussion, so we'll call for the vote. We have to vote on the amendment first. Okay. Vote on the amendment or the original motion? On the, the amendment, amendment first. The amendment. All right. We'll vote on the amendment. Dave, do we need to read that again? Or? All right. And I, here's what I have: that uh, Bill Smith motion to amend, uh, motion to amend to include the additional security protocols in general. Or is that as it applies to as with yeah within the facility? Or is it applies to the, the store, the building, whatever you want to call it? To the physical plant. Yeah. yeah. I mean, honestly, I'd rather not see it. I, again, yeah, I, I don't I, want to know anything. No, no right. <laughs> we're, we're, we're not asking for manufacture. We're not asking for location. Yeah, public record and all of that. Do, yeah. These are public Do you have building so I, alarm? Yes. Do you? Yeah, but I'm just saying. Don't submit. Don't submit it. Yeah, yeah. Here's where the safe is. Here's how you get to it. I'm not asking you that. Here's the combination. All right. So that just for clarity. Let's, uh, Dave, go through that amendment one last time. All right. So Bill Smith, mo Bill Smith motion to amend. To include the additional security protocols in general with the facility. Okay. Everybody good with that? I'm happy. And we've had that moved and second. All discussed now. And we need to have a vote on the amendment. And the second on that was, I'm sorry, who was the second, Steve? Okay. That's probably up here. Second. <clears throat> All in favor? Aye. 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 All opposed? The ayes have Aye. it on the amendment. So we need to vote on the original motion. Uh, I gotta get so it was Bill, Jim, Jim Alan, and Stephen. Vote in favor. Did you vote in favor? I, I, I did know if there's a neutral option. I want to make sure that you do. Actually, if you don't vote, it's it's an affirmative by default, right? It, the motion would pass by default, but it would be an abstain if she did. But you really can't. Thought but you can't really abstain unless you have a good reason to. A good, good reason, right? Unless you have. But in this situation, yourself. it doesn't change the outcome, so it's really irrelevant. Yeah. So, okay. Mr. Chairman, the main motion on the floor. Ready to roll. Okay. I, I was okay. going to ask that they please read all of it, inclusive. Of okay. Um, Just so we're clear. Well uh, I motion that we approve the application with the following three conditions. They provide the class of FFL that they applied for, that they provide a plan for training, certification, and licensing of employees, that they highlight federal security regulations that they must comply with, and additionally, the, the motion, uh, Bill Smith motion to amend to include the additional security protocols in general with the facility which was passed in a vote of four to two. Uh, yeah, we do. Okay. We have a, uh, have it moved and second. Mm -hmm. All right. So I'll call for a vote on that. All in favor? Aye. 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 Unanimous? Uh, unanimous. Okay. Good. So Thank you all very much. Thank you. I, I Thank you. It's a this tough is issue. Make us proud. We, we, we understand. <laughs> I'm serious. I'm serious I'm about I'm this. Too. And, and, and if I may, buddy, we're back in the rack. Come on down. I'll give you more of I am like frequent flyer. That's true. That's true. I do. I do. I'm the only one who gets a forty dollars. I know the electrical section. Good job, gentlemen. Thank you for coming in and bearing with us tonight. Hope we didn't take it over here. Thank you. Well, we got some more stuff out of you. Thank you. Thank you. If I may, go get the whole thing. Sure. Come on down. Thank you. Thank you very much.